Okay, today we're putting a mirror on a Hyundai Sonata. It's a 2002 model Sonata. And uh, as you can see, this mirror was broken off. Uh, so we're going to change this out. The first thing you're going to have to do is purchase the mirror. And to purchase the mirror, you need to make sure you know what you're looking for before you go looking for it because there's several different types of mirrors. Uh, this particular mirror here uh, comes three different ways. It can come with heat, without heat, and it can have a tinting glass type feature. So you may not know how to tell if you have a heated mirror or not, so there's a couple ways to tell. First of all, the easiest way to tell is right on the glass itself, it may have a little vent symbol. Give me that mirror. So if your mirror has this symbol right there, That's a vent symbol, that means it's heated. And heated basically is another word for defrost. So if you're in cold areas, when your mirror gets frosted, you turn your defroster on, it'll automatically defrost your glass for you without you having to do anything. So if you have that feature, it's good to keep. To tell if you don't have that symbol on the glass, the other way you can tell is by looking at how many wires go to the mirror. Most all standard power mirrors have three wires, two for the motor, one for the ground. Um, if you have five wires, then you most likely have another feature, and the most common feature is heat. This particular mirror, since it's broken, we can see the wires very easily, and there's two wires that go right to the glass, and they're connected right directly to the glass. That's a heater. So this particular customer's car, we got them a power heated mirror. Cut right there.